Hey everybody, Tyler here with Boost Junkie Media and today we are going to be bringing you a video inside the S550 Mustang, the ESS Supercharged S550 Mustang. Um, I've done some videos here recently and I had some comments, people wanting to know, you know, in car, how the car drives, how the car, you know, basically just runs, um, make sure it doesn't lose any of its uh, streetability, I would have, would have assumed. Um, so that's kind of what we're going to bring you today. So we've got a couple of cameras set up. We've got the in cab uh, here, and I've got one on the front of the car. Hopefully we'll pick up some fun uh, whooshy noises and stuff. Um, we're just kind of sitting here for a few minutes, letting it idle. We're gonna, you know, let, let the uh, motor get up to temp and stuff here for a few minutes. And then we're gonna go out on a little drive. Um, there's an area up the road that I usually get on it a little bit that's not too, too far. So we wanna make sure there's plenty of heat in it. Um, before we before we do that before we get there all right we're gonna go ahead and take off and just do a little cruise around the neighborhood and uh, put a little more heat in it and we'll do a little bit of talking while we're doing that uh, so right now I do have the car basically in sport mode with the advanced track turned off um, and I do have the exhaust open just because I like the way it sounds open um, although I guess see how the quality is in this video if it's too loud exhaust then we may have to redo it but I don't think it'll be um, so as you guys probably know this is an A10 car um, supercharged basically boost pump nothing crazy we did put some axles in it just because I do plan on taking it to the track a little bit um, so here we are so we're cruising and you can see here it cruises Totally fine, just like uh, just like it did stock. Going kind of slow through my neighborhood here. And I do have my laptop. I don't know if you guys can see it here, uh, but we are going to do a a data log. We just haven't done one in a few weeks, and the weather has turned a little bit. And I just kind of just keep an eye on the fuel and stuff. So we're going to go across the way here. on it a little bit I'll let you guys uh, kind of see what it feels like and what it looks like and hopefully the camera on the front holds on <laughs> all right here we go we're going across the road here Start our data log. Okay, she's logging. We're going to downshift here. Here we go.
and you can definitely hear it bark the tires on the shifts and stuff that long. You can definitely hear it bark the uh, bark the tires on the shift. Uh, so that's pretty impressive. I do have a set of drag radios on it, so it's not like it's a street tire. Um, so to me, that's pretty impressive. Uh, IAT right now after that pull is only is only 72. Uh, it's about 63 degrees outside today. So normally it hovers just a couple degrees over ambient when just cruising. And after that pull, you know, second and third at least there up to about 110, it was 72. Um, so that kind of shows you that the the IAT system or the, um, the intercooler system is, is pretty good even though it's just air to air. Uh, it's not air to water. It actually works pretty well. And the nice thing about the air to air and no air to water is it's a little bit lighter weight. Um, so the, this system is a very lightweight system physically. Um, which is nice because with the Whipple stuff you're adding you're adding a bunch of extra weight to the car and you're not really subtracting that much unless you're gutting the car. So it's nice that you can, you know, add a supercharger and not really add a whole lot of extra weight to the car, really. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stop up here. I'm gonna save that data log and we'll take a quick look at it, make sure everything looks good. drive in the car you can see it um, drives pretty much stock like um, not a you know, not a super big deal um, I was not able to get the camera I know I mentioned the camera on the gauge I was not able to get on there but I, I still see about 8.6 8.7 pounds at like 7500 so just keep in mind it's a little bit higher than their ratings uh, from ESS if you decide to get one of these kits um, so yeah, so if you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, you know, leave me some comments about things, uh, you know, if you have any questions or anything you want to see. And with that, guys, we'll see you later. Keep it booting.